Hello everyone, this is Dr. N. Pravalika, Department of Pulmonology, Narayana Medical College, Nellur. Today on the occasion of World Asthma Day, which is observed on first Tuesday of May by Global Initiative for Asthma. World Asthma Day is observed to improve the awareness on asthma. Asthma is a common chronic respiratory disease affecting 1 to 18 percent of the total population worldwide. It is estimated that 262 million people are affected with this disease in 2019 and 4,61,000 deaths. Due to the incidence and the mortality, the burden of the disease is high. What is asthma? Asthma is a heterogeneous disease that is characterized by chronic airway inflammation, which is clinically presented by cough, shortness of breath, wheeze, chest tightness that vary in time and in intensity with variable expiratory airflow limitation. Since the airways are chronically inflamed, they are hyper responsive to certain triggers like smoke, dust, fumes, pollens, common cold, cold weather, stress, exercise, seasonal variation is also present. In between the attacks of asthma, patient is asymptomatic. To assess the severity of the asthma, we perform pulmonary function test that is pyrometry, blood levels of isnophils, skin prick test. Avoid the exposure to the allergens and regular use of inhalers that is relievers and preventers. Preventers are the steroids, relievers are the bronchodilators. Theme of World Asthma Day 2022, Gina has chosen closing gaps in asthma care. To achieve this, there must be a proper knowledge and awareness among the healthcare providers, good communication and care across primary, secondary and tertiary care interface in communication and education provided for people with asthma, prescribing inhalers and monitoring adherence and ability to use these devices. General public and health professionals should aware that asthma is a chronic disease but not a acute. There are some misconceptions regarding asthma. Is asthma childhood disease? No, it can occur at any age. Is asthma contagious or infectious? It is not infectious. In fact, infections will exacerbate the asthma. Asthmatic patients cannot exercise. They can do any activities including exercise when asthma is under control. Asthma can be controlled with high dose steroids? No, they are controlled with low dose steroid in inhalation route in microgram dose rather than taking milligram dose orally. Inhalers should be taken during attacks only? No, they have to be taken regularly just like hypertensive diabetic medication. Thank you.